Hello, Dumelang, San Bonani, Molueni, and a warm welcome to the Maths Genius Video Tutorial Series brought to you by SABC Education. In these tutorials, we help you unleash the mathematical genius in you by showing you key mathematical concepts and how you can master them for success like a true genius. Today we're going to be talking about real numbers. Not fake numbers, but real numbers. Now, the first thing to ask ourselves is, what are real numbers? Real numbers are all the lines that are, exist on the number line. So if I was to draw a number line, okay, so the center of the number line is always zero, and then you've got your negative numbers, negative one, negative two, negative three, up to negative infinity, and then here as well, one, two, three, four, up to infinity, right? So I just put my negative infinity there, and my positive infinity there, meaning that it goes on and on forever. So, when we're talking about real numbers, we're saying every decimal, every fraction, every whole number, every natural number, every integer that exists on the number line is a real number. So, even if I am to say this point, 1.2, that is also a real number. If I am to pick this point, negative one and a half, it's also a real number. So any number that is on the number line is a real number. So I'm gonna use a diagram just to illustrate what kind of sets of numbers are within the set of real numbers. So I'll quickly draw that one. Not an artist, but yeah, I'll try. Right, so real numbers are denoted with this R, capital R, right? So that's the set of real numbers. Now, the first set we have is, the smallest set there is the natural numbers. So, all natural numbers are contained within the set of real numbers, right? But remember, whole numbers are an extension of natural numbers. So, I will have another circle like this, okay? Let me make it prettier, right? Like that. This is the set of all whole numbers. Like that. So it means that all natural numbers are contained in the set of whole numbers. The difference, remember, between natural numbers and whole numbers is that uh, these are just the positive counting numbers, one, two, three, four, five, up to infinity, right? From here, one, two, three, four, five, up to infinity. And the natural numbers is an extension where we include zero, right? Then we're going, all, all whole numbers are integers. All the whole numbers are integers. So we're saying that all natural numbers are whole numbers, all whole numbers are integers. And then all integers can be represented as rational numbers. So I will put another one, rational numbers, which I'll represent with a Q like that, right? So that's a set of rational numbers. So in other words, if I was to write this, this relationship between these sets, I would say natural numbers are contained in the whole set of whole numbers. The set of whole numbers is contained in the set of integers. The set of integers is contained in the set of all rational numbers. You might be asking, how, is, how are integers contained in rational numbers? Remember, if a number is written as 2, it is the same as saying 2 over 1. Right? 2 is the same, is equivalent to 2 divided by 1, which by definition is a rational number because it can be written in the form a over b. That is why 
all the integers are rational numbers. Now, we've looked at natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, and rational numbers. So, by definition, if you remember that a set that we've looked at is irrational numbers. And we said that if a number is not rational, then it's irrational. Remember, rational means making sense? So, these numbers make sense. What about those ones that don't make sense? Where are they real numbers? The answer is yes. Because you find like pi, for example, pi is 3.14, da 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 da, a million, two million decimal places, right? But pi is somewhere on the number line to be somewhere there, right? Pi. So we're saying it's also a real number because by definition, a real number is any number that is on the number line. So our real numbers will put, uh, our irrational numbers are going to be put there to say that all the ones that are within this circle are rational numbers and then the ones outside the circle are irrational meaning that the combination of all, all rational numbers united with all irrational numbers so remember in set notation the U stands for union means bringing things together right so we're uniting the rational and irrational and coming up with a set of real numbers. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Unleash your mathematical genius today. If you have any maths questions, you can post them for free on www.mathsgenius.co.za or email them to info at mathsgenius.co.za.